Hello students, Eric Magidson here. I wanted to provide a solution video for projects 7.4 and 7.5. 7.4 being create formulas in a template worksheet and 7.5 referring to data in another worksheet. So uh, I've already, as you can see, gotten started by putting a placeholder in B4 and B5 and I wanna calculate my gross margin. In the book, it says enter a formula to subtract the cost of goods sold from the sales. So consequently, I have sales minus cost of goods sold. So that'll tell me what my gross income will be. It then has me place a placeholder in B8, B9, and B10. These are all expenses. So it has me use the auto sum to auto sum all of the expenses. Now, if I was doing this on my own, I would most likely come in here. I would do the formula manually, select the range, so I know that what I expected is exactly what got chosen. Finally, in net income before taxes, it says that what we're going to do is take our gross margin minus the additional total expenses and that's our net income before taxes. That's what the government's going to tax us on, basically. Consequently, we need to define how much tax we're going to pay. In step seven, it says federal taxes are estimated to be 34% of the net income. So consequently, I'm going to say equals net income before taxes times 34%. That's silly. Let's try that again. Equals net income before taxes times 34 percent there we go and then we're going to calculate net income after taxes how much do we get to take home per se and that's going to equal our net income before taxes minus our federal taxes and there we are now it says that tailspin toys wants to set goals for the third quarter based on its performance in the second quarter so here's how they did in the second quarter. And what they want to do is they want to increase sales by 10% while keeping all of the expenses to only a 5% increase. So let's see how we would do that. We're essentially referencing data from one spreadsheet or sheet to another sheet. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm going to do the first one as the book indicates, and then I'm going to show you an easier way to do it. It says for me to select B4. Come up to the formulas and go to recently used. Find the sum formula. It brings up the function arguments box. Now from here, what I want to select is a value from the second quarter sheet. So I'm just going to click on second quarter. And the value that I want to choose is E4. So second quarter E4. Then it says to come down and key in plus and a left parenthesis so that this is done before the addition. Remember, order of operations. I'm going to come back to second quarter, and I'm going to choose E4 again times, remember we said we wanted uh, sales to go up by 10%. So we're taking the second quarter sales plus 10% of the second quarter sales. If I wanted to, I could quickly grab a calculator and just audit this, but I know it's correct, and say OK. So there's using the formulas and going to the formulas tab. There's a, actually an easier way to do this. Remember, all of our expenses need to only increase by 5%. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to come up here and say equals. I'm going to go to the second quarter. Here's my total cost of goods sold. Plus 5% of the cost of goods sold. 5%. So Cost of goods sold again times 5%, and I have a value. So my gross margin currently has been calculated on 97. Now I need to calculate the rest of the expenses. Well, if you notice, all of the sheets are formatted the same. So if I just come up here, copy this formula, paste it into here, it pastes the right numbers. Now you can see it also pasted the formatting, so I could just quickly come in here, tell it no border, and have my formats back. But remember, we want to audit this. Before I select on miscellany expense, let me think of what it should say. 
it should probably say, I'll go over and find the value E10 is my total miscellaneous expense. So the formula here should say equals the second quarter E10 plus second quarter E10 times five. When I click up here, I can see that it's correct. I've now audited the data. If I wanted to be real particular, I would go and just quickly check these and I can see that my net income, my company made a uh, 218,000 and change. It cost a good sold of 100. Our gross margin was 97. After our expenses and paying the tax man, we took home only 46,000. Thank goodness for deductions once we do our taxes. Anyway, that's it. Hope this helps. Have a great day.